name is Aaron Chandler and you're watching Ko's Chai YouTube channel. The perfect place for theme park news, reviews and vlogs. After all, I've always got roller coasters running through my mind. <laughs> Hello there guys, my name is Coach Your Dog Snowball, but built for Theme Park News, and welcome to a Theme Park News update from Lightwater Valley. Now, I didn't think I was going to be doing a news update today. I didn't think that. Um, I woke up about 2 o'clock, it is now 20 past 2, so I'm getting straight into it. Um, as you can see, frizzy air. Um, but, I woke myself up a bit, got myself a nice Sunday roast. Um, I woke myself up got the information. Now, I am going to be doing separate news updates for the February half term events, but I'm also going to do a recap and put in a couple of other little ones as well. Obviously, like I did last year about what's going on with the UK parks in February, I did it for Christmas, I did it for Halloween, kind of, um, with the announcement of like the full lineup of the events. Uh, I may actually do a full roundup of Halloween events. Uh, I'm, I'm going to do the separate updates like I do last year, but uh, I'm going to include some of the other events in as well and do like a full roundup of Halloween in the UK theme parks because we are because I'm from the UK and of course UK theme parks are the prime suspect. Uh, so all that's come this year, uh, but we're going to do a separate updates on the February half term events as well as an overall roundup all with other events included. So the one of the events I'm going to do separately is Lightwater Valley's Fab Feb Family Fun. Now before we get started, so make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. And let's get into this video. So Fab Feb Family Fun is the February half term event coming to Lightwater Valley this year in 2020. Uh, there is a select number of rides as well as some other activities as well. Decent prices and of course you've got the times of the event as well. So let's go through the full rundown of what's going on at Fab Feb Family Fun and all the information you need for this event. I'm also going to put a link in the description down below uh, for the website of Lightwater Valley so you can have a look at tickets, where you can book them, where you can buy them. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be down there at the event this year. Um, obviously it's in Ripon, North Yorkshire, so it's, it's in Yorkshire which is near to me but you know, obviously with time and everything, it's sort of, that's something you've got to think about with these kind of things. So, uh, I might not, I'll probably not be down there this year, but it is an event that I'm looking forward to doing in the future. If they decide to do another fab, fab family fun. Um, so let's have a look at the specific details then of this event. So, if you didn't know the times, uh, it's inviting families and younger children the chance to enjoy a fun packed February half term, whatever the weather. So we're beating back the weather to enjoy the theme parks. Aimed at the under eights and running from Saturday 15th to Saturday 22nd, Fab Feb Family Fun features a host of fantastic indoor and outdoor events and activities on offer throughout the holidays, with more than a dozen different attractions to explore. There's something for everyone, including lots of child-friendly rides. So it's mainly the, the kid rides. So it's kind of like what Alton Towers do at Christmas with the hotel guests, the sort of open up the kids' rides. Um, obviously they had Spinball Wizard as well and of course they had to drop change Hex and Jewel one time uh, but it was mainly Hex uh, that was open during uh, Christmas uh, but as well as that you had Moosey Bay, CB's Land, Coca Clown wasn't involved because it's getting rethemed for this year obviously make sure you check out that update that we did yesterday on the construction of World of David Williams uh, there will also be a special jungle themed UV puppet show performance uh, as well as spectacular magic shows uh, that will take place now the puppet shows will take place in the show barn that was the new entertainment venue that opened last year in 2019 so they're already really dropping and changing the shows uh, ready for the events so very good of like water valley to do that families will be able to visit the petting farm again that was something brand new for the uh, for last year in 2019 with lots of cute and cuddly animals for you to pet and feed including rabbits lambs donkeys calves alpacas and pygmy goats so very interesting i've never seen a few of those so uh i might pop down there in the future to like water valley again uh went there in 2016 before that it was 2006 uh so it was a big gap uh, so i don't want to create that big gap again uh, rides and activities open then for the event. So these are the specific rides and attractions that can be open for the event. You got Sky Rider, Eagles Creek Farm, Carousel, Noah's Ark, Human Cannibal, The Ladybug, Young Fun Jungle Indoor Play, 
Putting Farm, Outdoor Play, UV Puppet Show, Magic Shows, The Light Water Express Train, and for the Thrill Seekers, you've got Eagle's Claw. So that ride's going to be open. So that's a good ride for, for thrill seekers like me. And I know some of you will love Eagle's Claw. Obviously, if you don't know already, it's a KMG Afterburner. It's a type of swing ride. Uh, it's one of the thrill rides at the park. So it's good to see that they're operating with at least one of the thrill rides. Um, there's also an opportunity to enjoy 18 holes of fun-packed Jurassic Golf as you put past some fierce and prehistoric predators. Additional charges apply uh, with the Adventure Golf uh, attraction. So that's good to see that open as well. Uh, don't forget to visit the indoor soft play and cafe, perfect for under to Royal Swing to, 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 to Energy and while mum and dad have a seat and relaxing coffee. If lunch is in your plans, there's also places to grab a bite to eat, so very good. Please note that we do not offer disabled preferential ride access wristbands for this event due to the rise and attractions that are open and the event can get very busy. I think that's a very good safety precaution by Lightwater Valley. Uh, they've, they've thought about the thought about the people with uh, with disabled access, and they thought the event's going to get very very busy, uh, so they're not going to access those wristbands. So, you know, as as much as it's a shame they're not going to do that, I think that's a good safety precaution by the park. Tickets cost seven pound ninety five per person, and under threes go three. That is incredibly cheap. I would really recommend that if you've got a family out there, I would recommend taking them for that price. Um, you know, that co you know, here in here in Donny, that could cost pff, about three chippies. You know, <laughs> two full chippies and a half chippy. You know, that's that's really cheap price. Um, Seven pound ninety five per person. That's incredible pricing. Um, so I feel like Lightwater Valley are really pushing the greatness of this event here. So that is the details then on Fab Feb Family Fun. It's always a tongue twister. I always try to get it right. And I'm always worried in the back of my mind I'm going to get that pronunciation wrong. Fab Feb Family Fun 2020. Not 2019. Of course it's the year I get wrong. Uh, so what do I think then of this event? I think it's a really cool event. It's a really great family event. Obviously for thrill seekers like myself, Eagle's Claw is going to be a big attraction to try out. Uh, the Ladybug... Uh, coaster, the uh, Ladybug Coaster, uh, that'll be a good attraction. Unless I think it's the Ladybug attraction. I think there might be another Ladybug attraction if I'm not mistaken, but I believe it is the Ladybug Coaster. Uh, if not, comment down below if there's another Ladybug attraction. Uh, <laughs> but, you know, there's a couple of stuff for Thrill Seagulls like myself, but I think the general thing here is just walking around the park, taking in the atmosphere. Obviously, it's a shame there's no there's no Raptor Attack or the Ultimate. Obviously, the skate carts have been removed, so we don't know what the future is for that site. Um, so, I feel like Lightwater Valley are on the up. Um, obviously, we still don't know what the future is for Apollo. Um, somewhere it said that the licensing ran out for it to have it at the park, and it's apparently like uh, you know lost the park, and then Lightwater Valley has confirmed to someone that it's not going anywhere. So. You know, we're a bit drop and change, a bit 50-50 about the future of Apollo, uh, which is the uh, vertical swing ride, uh, the Starflyer attraction. Uh, they replaced the Whirlwind, the top scan that was on uh, a one-year lease, and then it was on a, a, a few-year lease uh, at the park. So, you know, I, I think Apollo's going to stay. I think with the park confirming to someone that it is going nowhere, uh, that looks like as if it's going to stay. But what is the long-term future for Apollo? Is that the next ride to go? Um, Lightwater Valley is a great family park. I feel like um, I know a lot of people in the community, in the coastal community, in the theme park community, have been quite skeptical of you know future investment and what they should do in the future. But I feel like Lightwater Valley are on the up in the family market. I feel like they're a really good family park, and they're really pushing the family target market here with the Fab Feb Family Fun event. And I'm sure they'll be doing loads more events. If they've got any plans for the 2020 season, I'm sure to uh, bring you the updates on that when they announce the plans. And of course, when they announce their new attractions for, ne for this year in 2020. But for now, I think we should just enjoy the park for what it is for now. So, uh, very good event for families. Uh, again, if you've got a family out there and you're watching this, I strongly recommend this event. Links in the description down below where you can buy tickets for the event. Uh, and for now, guys, thank you very, very much for watching this theme park news update from Fab Fab Family Fun. 
at Lightwater Valley Theme Park in Ripon, North Yorkshire. Make sure you like the video if you've loved it, comment your thoughts down below and subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. Please share the channel around with your friends, family and on social media and make sure you get this channel to more subscribers than we are now. I mean, we're really rising in the subscriber count, aren't we? You know, we're getting closer and closer every day to 1,500. Let's get this channel. Here we go. Here's a goal. Here's a goal for you. Uh, let's get this channel to at least 2,500 maybe 3,000 by the end of the year, by the end of this season. Thank you very much. My name is Coach Charles Kittle of the Coast Life, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Very, very soon. Take care. Have an awesome day, friends.